going to knock them up and them up. Mm. I saw really cool soft puzzles. Um, I also brought a book. It's called uh, Just Like You. Yay! Are you ready to read it? Let's begin. Just Like You by Jane Chapman. Snowflake was the tiniest, fuzziest mammoth in the herd. Sweeter than honey, whispered Mama. Brighter than the brightest star, smiled Pops. And they cuddled her close. Snowflake soon began to wonder at the huge world around her. Wow, she gasped, as the mammoth herd traveled through vast icy plains and past towering mountains of ice. She snuggled up to Mama and Pops when storms raged and the sky's angry roars echoed through the mountain. You're safe with me, precious, whispered Pops, drawing her close. But Snowflake was afraid. I'm so tiny and the world is enormous, she thought. When will I be big like Pops and Mama? Pops was Snowflake's hero. He toppled the tallest trees so that she could nibble on tender shoots. He plowed through the snowdrifts so she had room to play. He even snuffled up snowflakes and puffed them out in a cooling whoosh of sparkles. But when Snowflake pushed at the end of the trees, their leaves barely rustled. When she tried to break through snowdrifts, she needed to be rescued. And snuffling up snows always ended up the same way. Ah, chew! You light up my day, little one, laughed Pops, ruffling her fur. But I don't want to be little, sniffled Snowflakes. I want to be big and strong like you. You will one day, maybe even bigger, said Pops. But for now, Mama and I are here to take care of you. Snowflakes sighed. One day, Pops had an idea. There's something special I'd like to show you, but it's far, far away, he smiled. Do you feel big enough for a journey? Just the two of us? Snowflake squealed with delight, an adventure! The next morning, he waved goodbye to Mama and set off towards the mountain. Come on, Pops, Snowflake called. Try to keep up. The sun climbed her high in the sky as Snowflakes hopped and jumped in Pop's big footprints. But her skipping turned to snuffling as the day went on, slower and slower. Come up your sweetheart, chuckled Pops, scooping up Snowflakes with his trunk and turning her around. I don't want to go back, I want to keep going, cried Snowflakes. What about that special something? We're not going home yet, laughed Pops. Look at how far you've come. Staking away from the horizon was a trail of footprints. I'm so proud of you, grinned Pops. That's a very long walk for a very small mammoth. Snowflake was amazed that her tiny steps had taken her so far. Pops trudged onward until the low sun turned into snow pink. Rising up before them, was a huge tree, leafless and alone. We're here, whispered Pops. Snowflake was confused. But I thought we were coming to see something special, she cried. Pops lit Snowflake down his trunk. Look closer, he smiled. There's one tree where lines and swirls etched into the bark. Every mark celebrates a mammoth, said Pops. Look, this is me. My mama measured me up against this tree when I was the same age as you are now. But you were even smaller than me, gasped Snowflakes, tracing the line with her trunk. Pops took a stick and marked just above Snowflake's head. Every year we'll come back to this tree and you will see that you've grown a little bit more, he said. And every year you'll see that you're still enormous, Pops jiggled Snowflake, scrambling up to make a new mark for him. Let's go and tell Mama about our day, said Pops. Turning into the wind, snow whirled around his feet and they began the long journey home. 
I love you, Pops, yawned Snowflakes, snuggling into his soft fur. And one day, I'll be big and strong just like you.